In this video, I'm gonna show you how you could get as close to set and forget when using our QuantView TradingView strategies. In particular, we're gonna be looking at our Q Kronos TradingView strategy. Our head of software development, Anthony, is gonna, is gonna go over all of the settings that you need to do to configure the Q Kronos strategy. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike Santucci. I'm the founder and CEO of QuantView. We make TradingView, NinjaTrader, and Sierra Chart tools and automated strategies. We have over 8,000 members in our bustling Discord community, dozens and dozens of members getting huge payouts. So without further ado, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. I'm gonna show you a strategy here that's similar to some of the other ones that you may have seen advertised around, uh, like on Facebook, for example. Uh, essentially what these are, are high drawdown bots. Um, they enter a trade, and they have a very large stop loss on it, so that um, you know eventually, especially when they're on the, on the NQ, eventually in most situations the markets will swing back around and hit your profit target with a big with a big stop loss on it. Now the drawback of that is that you can have pretty big drawdowns. Um, here on this, you can see using two contracts, and this is over the last two years. Using two contracts, our max drawdown was 17,000, the net profit of 73,000. So the max drawdown can end up kind of high here. And again, that's, um, that, that's just because we have to use a large stop loss to make this work. Now, all this is, is our regular Q Kronos strategy. It's added to the chart. I'll show you exactly what I've done differently here. Uh, up here at the top, I've just changed it to stop trading at noon. That's all we've done. So we just trade till noon. I turn on Hike and Ashy Smoothing, and you'll notice I'm on a regular chart here. I'm on the NQ five minute. We turn on Hike and Ashy Smoothing. That's it. Hard stop multiplier, I take this out to 25, and that's our that's our big stop that I'm telling you about. So when it stops, it's it's a pretty big loss. But you know, our percent profit will were over 70%, um, 1.4 profit factor with a, a 17. Uh, and this is where this higher drawdown comes in, the 17,000 drawdown. The profit curve still looks decent, though. And we turn on static take profit, and we just leave that at 1. So those are the only differences. We have the time changed. Turn on HA smoothing. We use a large stop, and we turn on static take profits. Other than that, these are all, uh, all the settings in here are stock, um, exactly as it ships. Um, the example I had that set to... Uh, one contract we can change it back and this is um, this is over the last two years a deep back test that's on the five minute NQ I found it works best on the five minute you can play around with this same concept on different time frames different tickers but this is how you make one of those high drawdown bots that that wins fairly frequently is you use a volatile underlying like NQ you have a very small profit target and a very wide stop loss. You can do this with our Q Kronos, or you can do it with our Q Scalper. If you put a large stop loss on it, um, you can you can do it with either one of these, and you can create that type of scenario. Now, personally, I do not like those bots because of that huge drawdown that they can take, and some of them will even martingale when it starts to go the other way. They'll martingale, triple down on the contracts, and try to get out. Uh, and try to get out even on it. I, I really do not like how those operate, so generally I, I use tighter stop losses. But in some cases, with some strategies, it can work, and this is an example of it. So far, this has worked fairly well um, in forward testing, and I, now I've got it set up uh, in a bit more uh, controlled fashion as well, so I'll get more forward testing data on it. But this is something that you can play with, something you set up with a Q Kronos and hopefully make some money with. Now keep in mind, as you can see, it, it may only take one trade a day, right? Because it's waiting for it's waiting for entries, it's waiting for good entries. So it may only take one trade a day. See? Because we're on the five minute time frame, right? So don't um you know don't be discouraged by that. Here's an example of the larger stop loss right here. But it's got a pretty high win rate, and sometimes it'll it'll get big wins like this one too if there's a lot of volatility. So there you go. That's uh, another strategy for you to try out. If you want the exact Q Chrono strategy that Anthony showcased for you in today's video, 
Click the first link in the description. You could try it 100% free for seven days. With that free trial, you're gonna get everything that a paying member would get when it comes to our toolkit, our course content, our community channels, all that good stuff. First thing in the description, like, subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. We'll see you in the next one.